Hi, I'm Yvette Eastman, and I'll be your guide today um, as I talk about reflexology, a little bit about its beginnings, how it works, why it works, and um, a few techniques that you might be able to use to start you on the path to reflexology. I've been doing reflexology for about 37 years. It's my life. It's my love. It's what I do. I love it. I do other things as well. I, uh, I uh, use... Um, a, uh, applied kinesiology, and no, I should say specialized kinesiology. I use um, uh, EFT, which is emotional freedom technique, as well as reflexology. I use other techniques as well that I've put into my basket over the years of studying. To me, learning is never over. I started learning many, many years ago. I've never quit, and I hope never to quit. So here, let's go and let's learn about reflexology. So my first question will be, what is reflexology? Well, it's a way of working on the feet, the hands, the body, in order to be able to assist the body in, in um, repairing itself, in maintaining health, and improving health. There are spots on the feet that represent each part of the system, and that's, I guess, what the, the word reflexology means. It's um, it's a study of the reflexes, and a reflex re reflects to a particular portion of the body. When I talk about reflexology to others, I make it very simple, and I say, what is reflexology? It's a way of gently touching specific points on the feet, hands, face, or body, to affect the entire body, and it changes things. When I talk to people at Safeway and they say, what do you do? I say, I work on the feet and hands. It makes you feel great, and it's habit-forming. And that, I would say, is the basis of reflexology. This is a chart, a very simplistic chart, of the feet. And what it's showing you are different organs. You might be able to recognize in the um, wine colored below the ball of the foot, the liver. And on the other side in blue, the stomach. And the pancreas is represented there. You can see the kidneys. They look like little kidney beans. You can see the large intestine. The small intestine is within it. And at the top of the foot, all the toes represent the head. And the ball of the foot represents the chest. I'll make that a little bit more explicit to you as we go on. The foot is a mirror of the body. Um, there are many mirrors of the body in the body, things that represent the entire system. This one shows the body superimposed on the feet. And there in the toes, you see the head represented. Across the top of the ball, ball of the foot, you see the shoulders. The entire ball of the foot represents the chest and the back. The arch of the foot contains all the abdominal organs. And the base of the foot is the pelvic area, with the buttocks and the low back and the sciatic, uh, sciatic area. The sides of the foot represent the arms and legs. And that's one little mirror of the body that becomes very useful as you learn reflexology. Here I've tried to represent the organs a little bit in the way they look on the foot. Very hard to do. Let me ask you if you see the similarities. Notice the, the spine and the side of the person. And that's really important in reflexology because the spine is in the center of the body and it will be the midline of the foot and therefore, I, I, would, not, I would not say the midline of the foot, but the medial area of the foot because both feet together represent both sides of the body. So the spine is going to be right down the center between both feet. Just to make that a little bit clearer, there's the body with its spine 
and there's the foot and you can see where the head is and where the neck is and those are the cervical vertebrae the thoracic vertebrae go along what I would call the bunion bump of the of the foot um, the chest area is represented by the by the uh, ball of the foot the upper abdominals are in the beginning of the arch and the lower abdominals are below them and right at that curve of the foot where it goes into the heel is the pelvic area reflexology was started by a doctor he was an eye ear nose and throat specialist and um, uh, he was he was very very popular around the uh, beginning of the century and he decided that uh, he would separate the body into zones. It was very simple. We had five fingers, five toes on each side, or in other words, ten fingers, ten toes. And so he prepared a map. And his map says, okay, ten zones, five on each side. And there you were all ten zones. Y zones, his premise was that if there was anything wrong in any one part of the zone, that entire zone would be affected. So um, if your big toe hurt, and that would be in the first zone, there would be something else in that zone that would probably be sensitive, whether it would be along the spine, it's hard to say, but somewhere in the foot, that zone would be affected. So let me give you a little bit of a, something to help you sh see how, how swiftly reflexology can work. So what I'd like you to do is to bend down. You'll have to stand up for that. Um, unless you cannot bend, uh, stand up, then you can do it sitting, but it's always more effective if you can do this bending down from a standing position. So bend down and see how far you reach. And when you know, please don't bounce. Just stretch as far as you can comfortably. And when you're, when you've done that, sit down again and go to your ear and you're going to unroll, uncurl the entire rim of the ear just as in the picture shown I would start right in the by the hole of the ear and just kind of using thumb and index finger stretch your thumb and finger so that it uncurls the rim around the ear start at the top of the ear uncurling the top rim and going all the way around to the bottom. And I'll give you an example of that. I'll show you that. I repeat that three times. I'm just making sure to have worked on all portions of the ear. You might feel that your ear has even become warm. There's an, a, a good part to that too, because if the ear becomes warm, it's a great way of warming yourself. So on a cold winter day when you're cold, you can rub your ear and it will affect the entire body. Why? Very simple. The ear is also a mirror of the body. And if you look at the entire ear, and you can see the head of the fetus down in the lobe of the ear, the spine is going all around that little curl in that, that we were trying to straighten. At the top of the ear is the thigh and the buttocks. The little legs are all folded up the way they are in a, in a fetus. And the inner portion contains all of the the organs of the body and they are by the hole in the ear. So by doing what you did, rubbing the entire ear, you have affected the entire system.